Hola, I'm going to show you how to get the embryos and the larvae that you need for your laboratory practice. Just give me one second. So what you would need is a paintbrush, a sucrose solution, water, an empty petri dish, something like this, and of course your larvae. You will get a little petri dish that contains your larvae in here, you can see them. And of course, you may need paper towel because we want you to clean your bench after you're done, okay? <laughs> okay, so the first step is taking your Petri dish with your embryo and add a little bit of sucrose solution. Something like that. So, take your Petri dish then you add a little bit of sucrose solution. The sucrose merge the larvae to float. Then add a little bit of water in your empty petri dish and clean your paintbrush. And then using the paintbrush, start scratching the media to remove your larvae from the media they will float keep doing it until you remove all of your larvae from the media and they will float into the sucrose here i'm using the lid of the small petri dish i add a little bit of sucrose in here so i'm adding my little larvae from here so I just take them and transfer them to the sucrose solution in here. I collected, I clean my paintbrush, then I'll show you. I collected like probably like hundreds of them. See, those are the guys that you will need to transfer to the food vial. I'll show you that in a second. The next step is transferring all of those larvae to the food vial. And I'm gonna start picking them up using the paintbrush. I'll take them from the Petri dish. See, I have many here. And carefully, I transfer them to the food vial something like that right show you one more time you pick them carefully transfer them to the food vial finally when you have all of the larvae here you have to spark a little bit of yeast to start the fermentation process in here drosophila flies they will use fermented fruit as a food source so you just add five to ten little grains of yeast that's it you're done so now you can continue with your experiment so you have to provide some heat to your tubes so I hope you like it and a very important piece of information if you don't clean your bench you're gonna get zero in your final mark for this lab so remember to clean your bench bye